Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about Energy within the Earth and the Pacific Ring of Fire Introduction to Earthquake. This will be the fourth quarter topic and learning competency number one. This lesson is under the Matatag group. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the Pacific Ring of Fire The second one is to classify the geologic faults according to the angle of the fault plane and the direction of sleep And the third one is to acknowledge the relevance of seismic activities with the location of the country by answering the reflection of learning in activating the prior knowledge, for the short review, the teacher will show a picture of a volcano and post it on the board and write as many words as they can recall that are associated with the volcano. Establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary for the direction and scramble the letters of the term being described by the given statement. The Pacific Ring of Fire is an area of intense seismic activity that circles the Pacific Ocean. It's characterized by a chain of volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. This ring is a result of tectonic plate interactions where the Pacific plate collides with its plates, creating subduction zones that trigger volcanic activity and earthquakes. The following are by classifying faults by angle and sleep. Fault plane angle, this is the angle of the fault plane, determines the type of fault such as normal, reversed or trust or strike sleep. While the direction of sleep, the direction of sleep along the fault plane classifies the fault further depending on whether blocks move up or down. In the normal fault, the hanging wall is the block above the fault plane and it is moving downward, while the foot wall, it is where the block below the fault plane and it is moving upward. 
in the reverse or trust folds, the hanging wall, it is where the block above the fold plane and it is moving upward. While the foot wall, it is the block below the fold plane and it is moving downward. In the strike slip folds, the right lateral, it is where the block move horizontally past each other with the opposite side moving to the right. While the left lateral, the blocks move horizontally past each other with the opposite side moving to the left. The following are the seismic activities and locations. So the first one is the plate boundaries. So most earthquakes occur along the plate boundaries where tectonic plates interact. The second one is the fault zones. Within these boundaries, fault zones are areas of weakness where rocks fracture and slip, leading to earthquakes. And the third one is seismic rest. So countries located on or near the active fault zone face a higher risk of earthquakes. The following are the key takeaways. So the first one is the fault classification. So faults are classified by their angles and slip direction impacting the seismic activity. The second one is the Pacific Ring of Fire. This area is prone to volcanic activity and earthquakes due to tectonic plate interactions. And the third one is the seismic rest. Understanding fault types and their location, it helps assess seismic rest and prepare for potential earthquakes. For the work example, the teacher will show the picture to the class and ask them the questions that follow.